Hi guys! Today I am reviewing my first ever hot pot. So I had my first ever hot pot at Xiangzhang in Chinatown in London. Um, Xiangzhang is opposite Le Miserable, so you can't really miss it. And I've definitely um, enjoyed my first ever experience. So I'm, I've known about Hot Pot for ages, but I've never obviously found a location to do it in. Why this place is a little bit different, this place does it in a style which is a bit more modern. Um, generally, Hot Pot is a Chinese style stock, soupy stock, which you add in ingredients and they simmer and boil and you can add it in. Generally, it's done that you make it yourself. So it's generally a very interactive experience. So it's a very simmered down version, this one. So how did you hear the pun? Simmered down version. Um, they also kind of specialise in ramen. So they've got an upstairs for ramen if you want to do ramen and you don't want to do hot pot. Uh, the hot pot is downstairs. Um, you may need to book a table during the hot pit and the kind of the busy periods. It's a, a very small location, but it's intimate and very nice. So there's a fair bit of choice, but not consider um compared to a another place like Little Lamb or somewhere in Chinatown, it's like a watered down version of what hot pot is, but you still get the main experience of hot pot. So um hot pot itself so first things first at Xiangzhang you will notice they do have an offer so you can go for the market menu which allows you to get your broth your dipping sauce and free of the green plates and a noodle to go with it um, so anything extra you can add in so if you want extra bits you can pay for it separately so all of the ingredients come out on plates the and the, the money and the price is all mo 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 kind of written down for you so you can see how much each of the ingredients cost wagyu beef is on the menu it is 19 pounds if you want it but you will have to ask for wagyu beef So first things first, you select what um, soup stock you like. Um, this place has about five or s I think it's six different types of stock. I went for the mala. So the mala is a very, very hot one. So it's chilies, it's got the chili peppers floating around in it. And the lady was even like, be careful, it's very hot. And it was very hot, but it was very fragrant. So I could taste the chili, I could taste the fragrances going with it. Um, secondly, you then select a dipping sauce. This is probably where they fall down a little bit. There are only really two different dipping sauces to choose from, but at most other places uh, like Little Lamb, there will be multiple. So I guess they would fail on their dipping sauce, but the, the, the taste of the broth is really, really nice. So this is also, because of it's got this little automated conveyor belt, there is a guy who prepares plates of food and whenever it goes past his window and he sees there's a gap he'll put put a new fresh plate out so it's very fresh and obviously he's keeping an eye on how fresh the ingredients are so you know that you're going to get very fresh food and it's it comes around really really quickly so you've all you've got a selection of everything in before you they also have occasionally got specials going on which is quite nice they had uh, ramen noodles this time around but i ended up going for vermicelli instead and last but not least, you will pick what flavours you want. So with Hot Pot, which I found out, which is quite cool, um, you start cooking things, so obviously you can cook your meats first and put in your vegetables last kind of thing because they don't take as long to cook. You have full control over your Hot Pot dish and the temperature you want it to be at. I ended up having mine a bit too hot, but again, I would definitely recommend this, guys. So it was my first ever time. I'm definitely going to be going again and I want to go for a Korean barbecue at some point in London. So um, I will be popping some the location for this one. So this is Shaftesbury Avenue, opposite Les Miserables. Um, my experience was fantastic. I definitely recommend it, especially if you're new to the hotbox experience and you're not fully sure on what you'll need to be doing. If you go during the week, try and book a quiet period. You will have enough time to learn how to do it and then exact and then prepare yourself for going to a place like Little Lamb, which is the full experience where they also um, Little Lamb will do buffets on Sundays, which I am trying to get down to at some point because a hot pot buffet is where you're going to see everything shine. You're going to see a lot more. So I definitely recommend it. I really enjoyed it and um, I hope you guys decide that you want to go and check it out a few people have asked me where it is so again I recommend this place if you just want to go and get a bit of a taster of that experience and the food was really good and fresh and I can't help but say 
I recommend that, that belly pork. The belly pork was crispy and fatty in the right places and it was, it really absorbed the flavour really well. So I hope you guys are doing very well and thank you for listening to this video. I know it's a bit different. I have got some Cutty Sark footage coming your way very soon. So um, I will see you guys all in another video. Bye bye.